Welcome everyone. It's Sherry Carroll for SimonSaysStamp.com and I have an art journaling feature where I'm using a photograph as my inspiration. I am working out of my Dina Wakely journal and I'll be working on a watercolor sheet and I've chosen a photo of Melody that I really love from last year where she's picking up fall leaves and to go along with that I'm using some captured adventure papers from 49 and Market and these have really nice muted brown tones that'll go really nicely with my photograph. I have a few scraps that I had left over from another project and I've just put my photograph down to figure out where my placement will be. And I'm using a spatula to add some of the Crafters Workshop matte gel medium and I'm just coating the back of my paper and also on the page to make sure I have really good coverage. Once I have that covered, I'll place my paper down and using the side of that spatula, I'll press that paper right onto the page. Next, I'll be adding a strip and it'll sit horizontally and this will anchor the paper and the things I'll be adding later to the layout. I wanna preserve my photograph, so I have a piece of acetate and I've used a piece of washi tape at the top on the back of the photo to hold that in place. I'll be adding a wash of paint and my first color that I've chosen is Hickory Smoke from Tim Holtz Distress Paint. And I'll shake that up a bit before I add some to my clear acrylic block. I'll be using this block as my palette and I have a paintbrush and I've just added a lot of water. And so I will water this down until I have a really good consistency. And I want this to run down my page. So I'll continue to add water until I get some good drippage. As I continue, I'm adding a little bit more water as I go and I'm helping the drips along with my paintbrush just to create a track for that paint to follow. I will be adding a journaling piece to the middle of this layout. So I am mainly just getting my drips at the top and the bottom outside of where the journaling card will sit. And while I still have good wet paint on my brush, I'll just tap this onto the page so I get some splatters. You can let this air dry, but I'll be using my heat tool just to speed up the process a bit. The next color I've chosen is the uh, Tim Holtz Distress Paint, and this is Vintage Photo, and this will tie in the colors of the fall leaves from the photograph. And once again, with a really wet brush, I will help guide the paint down the page. And while that brush is still loaded with wet paint, I'll add more splatters. I've watered my paint down just a bit more, and I'm adding a really faded drip just to the left and right of those others. My photograph is going to be a flip page so that I can lift the photograph up and reveal my journaling card underneath. So I'm just adding some washi tape to the top of that acetate. And my acetate is a bit bigger than the photograph. I've just added a margin around so I can add some other die cuts and tapes around it. For layering, I'm adding more of the washi tape so it'll sit just underneath the acetate and you'll be able to see it when I flip it up and down. My journaling card comes from the Tim Holtz Pocket Cards, and this is my original pack, and it's lasted me forever. And I'll be using just my dot liner to attach this in place under the photo. I've used an older die of the Tim Holtz trimmings, and this is unavailable now. I'm so sorry. I have listed in the description box below a couple other border dies that I think would work really nicely with a layout such as this. But I've cut that from tonic copper paper and used my Simon's Stamp tacky glue to glue that down right on top of the acetate. I've cut the ends of the die cut just to the sides of the acetate using my scissors to create a clean edge. Next, I'm adding pieces of the washi tape to the edges of the acetate for a little more layering. I'll be adding more tape underneath, and I want this to sit where I can see it through that acetate so it continues the design from the top to the underneath. I have die cut the word moments from the Tim Holtz alphanumeric die set onto a darker piece of paper, and I'm just adding some tape runner and placing that panel onto a lighter piece of paper. And then I can trim off the excess with my scissors. The title will sit just on top of the acetate, so I've only added some adhesive to about half of that. And this will be my little flip piece that I can use to flip the page up. I'm adding additional paper behind to make it just a bit stronger so that it doesn't come apart. So that will overlap the front and the back. I felt I needed a little bit more balance to the left of my layout, so I have die cut a copper piece from the Tim Holtz Garden Greens Thinlets. And I'll be adhering that down by using dots of the Simon Says Stamp Craft Tacky Glue to the back. 
And to complete this page, I'm using one of the words in the die cut sheets from the Captured Adventures paper, and this says treasured. So I'm gently pulling this from the paper, and then I can glue it down in place. The elements of this page really brought out what the picture really means, and it's picking up leaves and being outdoors. And I am sure this page will bring a smile to my face whenever I flip through my journal. So I hope you like the idea of adding a flip page and using a photograph as your inspiration. And as always, thanks so much for watching.